Let's make some summer decor with chickens. Not those chickens, these chickens. Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to our Purpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're gonna do a collab with Jamie Ray Vintage. It is a summer decor collab and I am excited to be part of this. I'll put a link to the playlist down in the description and pin it to the top of the comments. So make sure you go check out all the other creators that will be involved. I love adding flowers to my flower beds, but sometimes they need a little sprucing up with some summer decor. So let's get started. I dug out these chicken and rooster patterns out of my stash along with these wings and cut them out of some scrap wood that I had kicking around. And I cut down some dowels to use as stakes for underneath to put them in the ground. So I wanna get these wings glued on really well. So I'm just taking my Gorilla Glue that I have, wood glue, and I'm gonna glue down, uh, just cover the wing on the back side and then glue those down where I want them on the chicken and chickens and the rooster. So I'm gonna start with this little hen first. I mixed up some burgundy paint. I just use red paint and add just a tiny bit of black to make my burgundy paint. And I'm just going to give, I think I do two coats on all of these. So she's gonna get two really good coats of this burgundy paint. This is a beautiful color, I love it. Very primitive. So now I'm gonna put a little beak on her. I'm taking my mustard paint, and I think it's from Fusion, and I'm just uh, gonna put that on her little beak. And I'm gonna do two coats on that. She, it, It's really gonna need another coat because it's not quite bright enough. Because I will be sanding this back, so I, I want it to be a little bit brighter. All right, so now I have this stencil. This is the screen stencil, so it has a little screening and I'm just gonna take my mustard paint and I go in circles. You're gonna see it's a little bit dark because I, I didn't clean my brush very well, but it's okay because I just go over it and I go round and round and round. And this makes a really cool design on the wing. There we go. Looks pretty cool, I think. So I thought she needed a little eyeball, so I took the backside of one of my paint brushes and I dipped it in a little black paint and made a cute little eyeball for her. And now we're gonna go on to the next hen. Now this one's going to be mustard color. So we're going to give her a two coat paint job drying in between each coat. And this really does such a nice smooth job. This is fusion mustard paint. And I, it just does, it's so, such a smooth, silky smooth paint. I really like it. So she's going to have a little black beak. So I'm painting that and probably two coats on that as well. So it's nice and dark. And then I have a different screen stencil. This one has little tiny flowers. So I thought this one would look nice. So um, it's kind of losing the sticky a little bit because I've used it a few times. So I um, make sure it's down the best that I can and then I start my swirling. I feel like when I swirl it, it gets down in the screen a lot better, but sometimes it does go under the stencil a little bit and make it a little bit kind of splotchy, but not too, too bad. This one, it didn't come out as good, but again, this is going to be primitive, so it's going to be sanded and distressed, so I'm not too worried about it. I just had to add a little bit on the end because my stencil wasn't quite long enough, so I think that came out pretty cute, tiny little flowers. And then she needs a little eyeball as well, so I'm just taking the back of my brush and giving her a little eyeball, and then she's ready to just dry. And then we'll work on Ricky Rooster. So Ricky needs a little beak. So I'm gonna do the mustard color for Ricky. And again, two coats for this guy. And we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna give him a little mustard colored eyeball. And then I'm just gonna jump right into using the back of my paintbrush and I'm gonna do dots. And at first it's, they're about the same size and just going around 
kind of randomly, just popping in dots here and there. I think this looks really cool on his wing. And then I pop out the burgundy color and I start doing that as well. Just tiny little dots of the burgundy. And then I do do a few bigger ones, uh, bigger dots. As you can see here, there's some mustard colored ones that are a little bit bigger. So now that my little hen is dry, I'm gonna take a light sandpaper and go over the wing a little bit. I want to sand back a little bit of the little flowers that we put on our wing, uh, but I also wanna focus on the edges of the wing so that I can get down to the wood. A lot of times I will stain first and then paint over the top and then sand back, but sometimes it still goes back to the raw wood. So I thought I would skip the staining, just paint, and now I'm going to sand it back and get that raw wood to come back and then I'm going to hit it with some stain. So once I get everything all sanded, I took uh, them outside and I'm going to spray the backs of them with some black spray paint. Now you could, if you were gonna do this, you could do both sides, but because this is scrap wood and it's only sanded on one side of the wood, uh, it's kind of rough on the other side and I just figured if I sprayed it, that would I'll seal it up and make it look nice. Now that the backs are dry, I brought them in and I'm going to take my uh, antique wax, water, and black paint mix and I'm going to rub that onto or brush that onto the edges where my raw wood is. And I'm going to wipe that back and it's just going to cover the whole wing, but I really am focusing on the edges as much as possible to get that stain right in there. As you can see, there's a little bit of darkness, which is what I'm looking for, is just to outline that those edges. So I'll go ahead and do that for the whole chicken. Uh, all those raw edges are gonna get some of this stain, and it's a darker stain. There we go, we do the whole chicken. I just think this makes it look so rustic and primitive, and a just a more of a distressed look. Of course, if you if you wanted it to not have this look, you don't have to sand it down. You could leave it the way it is and just seal it. So here is the burgundy one, and I do the same exact thing. I do it also to Ricky Rooster, but he's black, so it's hard to see the difference, but there is a difference in him. So I just thought I'd show you these two. And so I just, again, wipe it all on those raw edges, and then wipe that back and I just love the color that comes from the antique wax. I stained the dowels that I had cut to size and I drilled some holes in the bottom of the chickens and now I'm going to use my Gorilla wood glue and put that on the end of the dowel so that I can glue them underneath the chicken. So when we put them in the ground, they will stay there. Before I do any decorating to my chickens, I want to seal them up. So I bought some Minwax Indoor Outdoor Sealer. I wanted the clear flat, but I only could find the clear satin, so maybe they don't make that. But anyway, this worked really well. I just took a brush and painted it on there. And I'm going to leave these sit overnight once they're dry in the morning. I will probably do another coat, let them dry, and then do the back side as well. I want them to be nice and sealed because these will be out in the weather. So I think this will seal them up nicely so they'll last quite a while. Now I'm going to hot glue some Spanish moss to Ricky Rooster's tail and make sure that's down really well. And then I'm going to take a rusty star that I had in my stash. I found three of them, one for each little chicken and I'm going to take the biggest one and put that on to his tail over the top of the Spanish moss to give it a more primitive look. Then I also do that with the wings as well, a little hot glue, a little Spanish moss and a nice rusty star and these are looking so primitive and great for summer decor. 
Now I decided to take a little bit and put it around the bottom around the stick. I thought that would give it uh, a nice touch as well. So I did that on all three. I wanted to let you know if you're not able to cut out your own hen or rooster to check out 24 Hour Crafts. They have unfinished wood hen and rooster shapes that they can send you from three inches up to 24 inches wide, an eighth inch thick or a quarter inch thick, so you can decide. I'll have a link down in the description along with a 10% off coupon, so make sure you go over and check them out. I hope you enjoyed my primitive chicken summer decor garden project. I think these came out really cute and I just love them in my garden. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and go down and check out the playlist for the Jamie Ray Vintage Creative Group. Thank you for watching.